So now let's see how we can use the color fill tool inside of Adobe Fresco. So the color fill tool is located over here on the left side, as you can see right here. So if I were to go over here on the fill tool and select any color, just like that, let's say, for example, I'm just going to choose yellow and click over here. Nothing happens because there's nothing to fill on right here. But let's say, for example, I take something like a watercolor and draw around over here. And now if I were to go on to fill tool and if I were to click right here, you can see that it actually fills up. But there's a problem right here. So I'm filling out pixel right here and you can see that there's a bit of a gap that it left right there, just like that when I use the fill tool. So let me just undo that out right here, just like this. So if I don't want to see any of that gap right here, so I'm just going to go around and really zoom that out. Let's say for example, 400, uh, just like that. And if I were to use the fill tool, you can see that pixel right there. So let me just undo that out. So in order to prevent that, I'm just going to go around over here onto the fill tool options. And if I were to increase out the uh, color margin just like this and click it, what happens is that you can see that the gap is smaller. If I were to increase that even more, then it goes out more. So I can just increase that out just like this and you can see that there is no fill anymore. All right, so if I were to zoom this out, so let's say for example, around 100 and press enter, just like this. You can see that, all right, over here, everything is filled out because the threshold was too much. So you gotta be careful not to increase the threshold very much as well. So if I were to go around here, you can see that it really fills out everything and there's no gap whatsoever. You can also preserve the transparency of the fill as well. So you don't want transparency options right there. You can use the fill tool and you can see that it is there. So you can preserve or not preserve the transparency at all that that is up to you. So that's one way of using the fill tool and fill tool works differently for pixel layers and regular layers. So let me just go over here and undo everything out right here. In pixel layer, you have the option to set, set the uh, fill range. But if you were to go over here onto the, um, let's say, for example, vector fill right here. So if I were to have a vector layer just like this, let me just press Control Z and I'm going to go around and choose high transparency. I'm going to choose red as a color and let me just fill this out. If I were to go over here and fill it out, you can see that there's no option here whatsoever because uh, it is filling it out as a vector layer and vector layer is quite sharp and computer knows what. Uh, needs to be filled out. So it is much more cleaner that way. Another way to use the fill tool is to use the selection tool right here and then make a selection of any shape you want, just like this. And then what you can do is you can use the fill tool right here to fill it out, just like this, as you can see. So now that is another way to use the fill tool just like that. Okay, so what, what you simply do is take this layer just like that and then make a shape right over here let me just close the gap, gap right here and then you can take the fill tool right here and fill it up. So these are the different ways on how you can use the fill tool inside of Adobe Fresco. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.